she is starting to become more and more sleepy as the day gets warmer and warmer however she's gone into a very strategic spot where it's nice and shady um, perhaps not as shady as that strange spot that Tingana chose but nonetheless very good spot now there are lots of marula trees around this area so I wonder why Tingana didn't think that it would be better for all of us had we decided you know why he didn't put it up the tree and making all of our lives a lot easier <laughs> No, I'm just being picky now. I think we are very spoiled in this area and leopards don't always have to put their kills up a tree. And as a matter of fact, the area or the spot where he put that warthog is a very good place to hide it from any potential predator. So he'll, he'll be able to eat it during the day without really having to worry too much about other scavengers coming into this area. And at night, if there's anything left of the kill, and then I think that's when he might try to put it up. Now, Tundi every now and again, like she did now, she glances on Tingana's direction, who's still very happily sleeping, hugging his his kill for the day. Oh, are you, are you, can you hear him? Maybe Tingana has started to maybe munch a little bit. But interesting that they're so close together, I think. Sammy, Jamie, you're wondering how long before they finish their kill. Well, I think it would probably take Tingana a day to finish that warthog piglet that he's got. The It's not one of the biggest ones that I've seen, but it's definitely a good meal for him um, as one male leopard. Now, um, I am still puzzled because leopards don't normally share kills. It's not something like the lions do where one will catch something and then the other pride members will come and share it. And I feel that if Tandi were properly coming into heat likely she would go closer to Tingana and try to incite him into mating which it seems like she hasn't done all morning so I am wondering what all of this is out and about very interesting I love it how the leopard world every everything that you read in a textbook all of a sudden if you spend enough time out there there will be someone or a f that will just change things up things up and spice them up and just make you doubt everything you've ever read before. <laughs> I think, like I said, we're going to have to just be patient around and hopefully this afternoon there'll be somewhere where we can see them just so that we can carry on finding out how this whole scenario is going to play out. For now, seems like both leopards are very sleepy. It seems like they, it was high activity in the morning. And I mean, how rare is it to see Tingana not at the last minute like we did yesterday? <laughs> So he has been steadily moving. We found him at Bufosuk Dam, which is pretty much the most eastern corner of Juma. And he still had to carry on walking east and south from where he was to get all the way here. So I think he's earned a well-deserved rest after probably patrolling and making a kill. And Tandi, we haven't seen her for the last few days. We have actually all been wondering where she was because Tumbo was pretty much left at Gauri Dam. So at one point, I'm sure she had to go all the way there to fetch Tamba or just be in contact with him and then, <coughs> excuse me, and then come all the way down here. Now, as the sun starts getting hotter or starts coming into the apex of its circle around the earth, I think she won't be comfortable where she is now and she'll gonna ha she's going to have to find a bit of a shadier spot. So there are a lot of thick bushes around here where she could easily hide underneath or perhaps maybe she'll go a bit closer to Tingana in the hopes of getting some of that kill or if not, and wishfully, hopefully, she would go up a tree. However, I don't see many comfortable trees around here where it might be worth for her. Lots of trees without leaves, like the one that we saw the monkeys in this morning. Beautiful. Hmm. I got very excited that you came back. No, I don't hear anything coming from Tingana's direction, so I think he's probably sleeping too. Anna Marie, you're wondering if Tamba would stay at a distance if he sees uh, Tandi and Tingana together. Likely he will, not so much for Tandi, but for Tingana. I don't know, like...
we said leopards in this area tend to be slightly more sociable than perhaps in some other areas so it could very well be, will be i don't know if tingana has been seen with tamba recently so if any of you guys know the answer for this just please let me know but i think tamba is going to try keeping a, a healthy distance away from Tingana. Very likely Tingana could recognize him as his offspring and not pay too much attention to him. However, as Tamba starts getting older, then he's going to start becoming competition or potential competition for Tingana, and that's where things might get a little bit tricky. So leopard cubs or sub-adult leopards, which I think is more appropriate for Tamba, they quickly learn that their best chance is just to kind of stay away from bigger male leopards, doesn't matter who they are, just to ensure their survival in general. Even if Tamba were to come across Shadow or another fully grown adult leopard, I don't think that the encounter would be all that friendly. I am entirely fascinated by how things have played out with the Tandi, Tamba, Shadow and Coburn, Tingana dynamics of the last few weeks. Anna Marie, you're wondering if leopards would also catch and eat bats. Is that correct, Megan? Bats. Well, if they if they could, or if they manage to grab them, leopards are opportunistic, so they will very likely eat them. However, I don't think they would spend too much time trying to catch the bats unless they found a roosting point for them and try to get them directly from the tree. Likely they would go for more conventional things that they are a bit more skilled at hunting. But you never know, leopards can always surprise you, especially older leopards. They sometimes get quite creative when it comes to finding new food sources. Oh, Tandy, you're so pretty. Sleeping very tightly there. Hmm. What an interesting morning this has been. I think, sorry guys, I think somebody's trying to get a hold of me on the radio. Standing by. Standing by. Yeah, the Zingo lock is still running. There's Tingana and Tandi. Alright, I think that that's going to be it in terms of radio talk. Quite amazing. It seems like Taylor's enjoying the feather friends today, so let's go over to her and see if perhaps she can find us a spotted bird.